Wait, just a minute, Mom. I'll tell you when. Wow. Hold on, Mom. Hold on, take my. Hey! It must be 5 o'clock. It's got to be 5 o'clock. I know it is 5 o'clock. It's Saturday. How y'all doing? Good to see you today. Well, we got something special today. I don't know if you know. Mom's back hanging out with me. So, good to see you guys. Um, it's been a week. God, all kind of stuff. We'll talk about that later. But I'm going to talk about it. Um, so, Mom's hanging out with me and she's doing... Mom, you got to look at she's. She's concentrating. She's in the zone. <laughs> we can do some chicken and dumplings today, y'all, man. That's something I grew up on. Uh, I'm a southern boy. I'm from Georgia. You know, that's what we did. And uh, um, people always talking about, you know, you know, I'll see different posts and different things about chicken and dumplings. So, you know what? Why not? That's one of Ty's favorite dishes, isn't it, right there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's what we're going to do. This is Mom in the back. For the that didn't mean it last time, this is Mary Amy. Mama don't like the camera too much. Well, I'm gonna make her like the camera. <laughs> so, Mama, we gonna get started in just a second. Well, let me take, let me get you up to speed on everything. Um, we've already got some chicken broth going because you know we, our, our segment is like 20, 25 minutes. So we had some chicken broth. We cooked the chicken, and I'll talk through some of this as Mom does some work. But we got the chicken broth going. But what we're gonna do is Mom's gonna get started with making the dumplings, and as she's doing the dumplings. Mixing them, making them, and all that. I'll tell you about the whole recipe. Is that cool? All right. Everybody had a chance to get in, get settled in, and get this thing started. But let's get going. Okay. Well, Mom, it's your show. Okay. I'm just piggybacking today. Okay. Okay. All right. Mom said right. okay. All right. Okay. So, so, so what we got? We got uh, Mom's using oil cooking oil. She's using some vegetable oil, some all-purpose flour, some milk. Some butter. And that's about it, isn't it, Mom? The butter go in when I go to the dumplings. Okay, that'll go in with the dumplings. Okay. So just the oil, the flour, and a little baking powder. And salt. And salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And right. then the milk. And then the milk. All right. What year you start making dumplings, Mama? 1872? No, not quite. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mama ain't that old. He's like a young tender chicken. <laughs> I've been making that before, but not that long. Yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, we're doing Grandma Ollie's recipe. My my mother's my mother's mother, my grandma. Um, Mom learned a lot of she's learned a lot of stuff over the years, but Grandma showed her a lot of stuff. And uh, I've heard a lot of stories about my grandmother and how she did some phenomenal cooking. The only thing I'm missing out on is I wish I would have been able to hang out with her. She would have loved me as a grandson too, Mama. Yeah, she sure would. Yeah. Okay, now we got to put a little flour out here. Put a little flour? Out here, though. So this is going to... I'm sorry, go ahead. To put the dumplings out here so I can uh, kneel them. Okay. So you, when, you put all, when you put it at the end, so how do you, you want the, the, the dough to be kind of sticky? Yeah, but no, you got to... And it can be sticky, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I, I need a special. I got you. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm the I'm the I'm the I'm the, uh, the prep cook. Oh, oh, okay. Or the handyman. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm handy too. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You turn it over. Hmm. I don't be laughing. Yeah, they're making the dough. Now. So you're kneading the dough now. Yeah, like you do biscuits. Just like making biscuits, basically. Mm -hmm. So we talked earlier about this. We can, you could use, you use short. I mean, uh, vegetable oil today, but you could have used butter or shortening, huh? Either one. Okay. Does it change the texture if you use a different, different? Uh, uh, well, not much. Not much. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, we're gonna roll this out. All right. And make our dumplings. All right. So mom's got the dough made. Boy, that didn't take long either. She got the dough made probably within five minutes. And now she's rolling it out. Okay. Ethel May is watching. Yes, I'm here. And she said hello, Angela Little. Angela oh, Little. Oh, all right. Oh, Miss 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 May. 
Yes. Stop What's up, Stuart in Atlanta? Cousin Randy's watching too, Mom. Over in Rankin. Yeah. And man, Clayton Epps. Clayton Epps used to work with me in Mississippi. What's happening, Clayton? How you doing, buddy? Alana, uh, Vicky, Vicky. I hope thank, Rick, Vicky got her, her her gift. I'm. I hope you enjoy, it, Vicky. Thank you for being watching us all the time. I, I see Ruby's watching too over in Pensacola, Florida. Mm -hmm. Bring it down. Okay, I think I got them thin enough. JJ. <laughs> What's up, JJ? What's happening, JJ? <laughs> okay, so mom, you done rolled out your dough. Oh, right. We got to get back on Doom. I've got the dough rolled out. Okay. Now and you, you want that a certain thinness, right? Right. You yeah, see that? You want them thin. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. You cut them. And then we cut little sections. Okay. And for those of you that's not good with knives like this, I'm going to tell you, a pit, I'm not good as mom. Mom been doing this a long time. I I got this little pizza cutter in my in, in one of my drawers. And... Uh, I just take my pizza cut out and do the same thing. But mom's a pro, you know. You you got people that try to be a pro, and then some people that are a pro. Well, mom's a pro. Yeah. You know, one day I'm going to be like mom. Hey, one Sabrina. Day. Thank you, JJ. She said um, May is here in Alabama. Oh, that was Angie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, there go your dumplings. Dumplings are made. And what I like about mom dumplings, they they, they're they longer little strips. And, uh, and boy, they just taste good. I just remember when I was a little boy, I could barely look over the cabinet. And uh, I would see mom doing this. And uh, she told me lately, I don't, make, I don't make dumplings as much as I used to. I just go and buy them. But I said, mom, ain't nothing like yours. <laughs> you know. I know my, my dad was big on my mom's cooking. I can't tell you everything he used to say. <laughs> mom might run me out of the kitchen. All right, so what we need to do now, Mom? We need to get the... That, that need to be boiling a little bit more, or is it okay? So this is the broth that we worked on earlier. We took chicken, like whole chicken and chicken parts, and we made our own broth. We put uh, onions. I used uh, one onion, one bell pepper, well, half a bell pepper, a uh, stalk of celery, a little garlic, and we cooked down and created a broth with carrots and basically made a chicken broth out of the chicken. And then we took the, the chicken uh, chicken and pulled it all off the bone. So you'll see that meat in just a moment. And uh, now mom's putting the, the dumplings into the broth, and um, that's going to start the process. So why do you put them in one at a time, huh? Well, you gotta let them put them in there. You know, you don't want them on top of one another. They may stick together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you take and put them in there, and let it be let your juice be boiling like so they are cooked. Okay. You put them in there. Okay. Yeah. So so the water need to be Maybe. kind of kind of rolling up, rolling right. boil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. My take on it: if it's not, you're gonna have a thick gravy instead of dumplings. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it up a little. Turn it up. All right. You know, Mom, I got that electric. That, you know, Mom, I grew up on gas. And gas, there's nothing like a gas stove in there, right, Mom? Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> electric, boy, it's about like a, a dead battery. It may start, it may not start. Okay, I'm getting a little bubble going now. Okay, so the dumplings are cooking. Randy Johnson said you're going to need a new countertop when Mom get finished. <laughs> Oh, mama, you talking? We gonna go over to Rinkin and throw some dumplings on his porch. <laughs> Jeffrey Mack is watching. What's up, Jeff? Columbia, South Carolina. How you doing, brother? I'm getting to enjoy the ride today, Jeff. I'm acting like a general manager. I'm being the boss today. <laughs> we mama all gonna, know. Mama who gonna the boss run me is. out the kitchen. <laughs> we all know who the boss is. The dumplings are boiling up. Anything I need to do? I need to press them down, Mama. Just yeah, press them down. Press them down. Okay. So the flour from the dumplings is that your thickening That's agent? Where your thickness come in from the flour, and you can sprinkle a little flour on top after you get through. Okay. Finish, and that helps to thicken them up. Okay. Me and Mom was talking earlier. You don't want to stir the dumplings either. You just want to push them down into the broth versus stirring them around. 
Hey Chanel, glad you're back. Hello cousins, my mom is watching too. That's Angela Levent. That's Angie? Mm -hmm. Hey Angie, I told mom you was going to be watching today. From Detroit, the Motor City. <laughs> All right, so we got them cooking now, Ma. So how long this process of cooking usually take? I'd say 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to throw some stuff at you for all of those that, that's never cooked. Do I need to cook, turn it down some more? Yeah, turn it down a little Okay. Um, so there's some things you can do to speed up the process. Uh oh. Um, sometimes mother has told me that um, if you want to get the thickness done quicker, um, th there's a quick method to do that. You can use like a, a can of chicken, a cream of chicken soup, um, to just and that'll speed the, the thickening process up. Now, granted, me and her talked about that. I said, Mom, there's no way we're doing that today because I know you know how to do it the old school way, and that's what we're doing. Um, but but that is something you can do. Also. Um, j just for the record, I mean, they make some pretty good dumplings in, in the uh, stores, um, so you can use those as well. Um, uh, but uh, I, I just wanted to do it the traditional way and just show you that it's not as hard as you think, um, to make the dumplings itself. So, and, and, and it's very it's cost effective. I mean, we probably use for that recipe, mom just put in there, but she's adding the chicken to the shredded chicken. We used a whole chicken as well as some um, chicken parts. Basically, my mother actually tells me all the time, she likes, uh, her preference is chicken thighs. And the reason for that is why, Mom? Because of the flavor? They have more flavor, I think. They have more, a little bit more fat in it, don't they? Yeah. yeah. That's right. If it ain't got the fat, it ain't right. <laughs> yeah, that's part of that flavor. So the, most uh, proteins, most meats, to get the good flavor, you got to have a little fat. So now Mom is kind of just pushing that down into the pot to create uh, what's going to become a, uh, eventually a good, thick, and a, a smooth uh, sauce or gravy through um, the dumplings that she's put in. She used some of your seasoning? For, we, we actually haven't put all the seasonings in yet. We put some in, but I got some right here for you, Mom. It's already ready. We used them. Believe it or not, Mom told me that she's been using my, uh, my rub. For seasoning other things. She said she made some dum dumplings recently and she put it in there. So, there you go. <laughs> you can use the Chef Kip rub for uh, for dumplings. What did you need, Mom? Like you need some pepper. Pepper. Right there in front of you. I'll, I'll do that for you. Okay. Call me the pepper man because I'm so hot. <laughs> Mom's going to get me. <laughs> there you go. Sheriff Hagen said uh, he can be the taste tester. Come on over, Sheriff. <laughs> That's Alfonso, Mom. <laughs> Will a rotisserie chicken work? Will that work, Mama? A rotisserie chicken? probably would. Yes, but you're going to have to have you some chicken broth, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to either have you a... You have to buy him some chicken broth. Buy some broth or make you some broth, but you're going to have mm -hmm. that. But for the meat, the rotisserie will work. It will work. Looks okay. tasty already. Mm -hmm. So we're doing that. So now the process... I'm going to wipe off the stove for you, Mom. Okay. The process is now it's just letting it cook and simmer to thicken up. All right. Hey, cousin. Hey, Miss Tamika Miller Jones. Thanks for watching. <laughs> That's Mississippi, isn't it? Jeffrey Max said, I see you doing your thing. Appreciate it, Jeff. Mama doing up thing today, though, man. <laughs> Brandon Trimble is watching. Uh, that's triple son. I think so. Yeah. All right, so that's working. Um, so he, while that's cooking, and uh, we actually got some ready, but I, what? Who was talking about what was going to eat with this today? <laughs> and Ty said, "Kev, really?" I said, "I want some. Uh, I don't know if this is the right term, but we call it a whole cake diet." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Who came up with that term? I don't know who came up with that. <laughs> some, some, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, we call them whole cakes in the South, but it's fried cornbread. So I made a little, Al, I don't know if you're watching, you understand me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I made up a little cornbread. I gotta put a little bit more milk in it. So. And uh, I'm gonna fry some cornbread, <laughs> some whole cakes, right quick. 
Catherine Ray said, yeah, it's a whole cake. Who said that? Catherine Ray. <laughs> Sheila Robbie Alexander Kep? said, I like mine with cornbread. I know that's right. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some people feel my pain. <laughs> Got the skillet ready. Some people would say, why you need cornbread and you got dumplings? <laughs> you need something to sop with. <laughs> you gotta have that. Let's see if what it need. What's it need, mama? I got You checking it out? Need some more salt. Need some more salt. Yeah. Alright. Mama said it needs some more salt. Tell me when. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I just, I guess, I just find out who the boss is. Then. Yeah, you found out quick. <laughs> <laughs> we will post the recipe in detail from start to finish. Actually, I am going to do some other stuff just later. I'm going to uh, <laughs> on YouTube uh, cooking with Kip. That's a little big, though. Yeah, but that's, that's all right. right. <laughs> that's all right. Mm -hmm. God is good. Yeah, all the time. Yes, he is. You might need to turn your heat back up, Lou. Okay. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. All right. I got excited when I started talking about the whole cake. <laughs> Let's just say cornbread. <laughs> well, uh... uh I don't call it Sean. I would call it Sean, not Catherine. Okay. She feel me though. Yes, she feel. Me. <laughs> From Brookhaven, Mississippi. <laughs> All right. So we got the cornbread working, and, and the dumplings are going. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all something. My mom got a back turn. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. We put on the pot earlier, <laughs> and. Uh, Lord, Mama just said they're ready. <laughs> but we got we got to have this whole cake. They are ready. Okay, you doing okay? Hey, Jordan. Hey, Clarence Richardson. Thank you everyone for watching. Mama doing her thing. Yes. Clarence Richardson? Clarence Richardson. Man, I haven't heard from that brother in a minute. How's everything? I hope you're all right over there in Baton Rouge, man. I want to see you put this. Yeah, that's brown. Oh, Lord. I got to bring it up. Turn it up. Better break that down. Yeah, I do. I need to turn it down. Mama just told me I need to turn this pan down. Yeah. <laughs> Mama, Mama knows this. Yeah. You see what it's doing? Uh, I'm going to move that over. Yeah. I get nervous when I'm around mom, guys. She, you know, she's the she the head cook, and when I mess up, she gonna get on me. <laughs> she say, "Baby, you about to mess up that bread." <laughs> Jordan said, "Hey, Auntie Ty, Uncle Kip." Hey, Jordan. Jordan. We gonna make some money off that uh, baby. apple stock. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Mom? That baby. No, that's uh, Jordan is Shelton and Tamis's uh, Ooh, niece. niece. I need my ladle. You had it for the corn. It's in the cornbread, baby. Okay, so Mama, your dumplings are boiling. Turn them on. Turn them down. Turn them on. Okay. How you doing? So the dumplings are boiling. And it's going to take us probably another, like Mom said, about 30 minutes for those to get ready. Um, if you really want to get it a good thickness to it, if you take about 35, 40 minutes, it's really going to thicken up. Okay, my bread ain't as pretty as I want it to be because I'm just reaching around doing stuff. But I tell you what. It's gonna get it's gonna get everything accomplished that we need. So, so chicken and dumplings. The, the longest part of the process really is cooking um, the chicken and creating the broth. If you do that, if, and of course, there's a lot of shortcuts that you can take as far as buying broth, getting chicken. Uh, but but I think the longer it cooks, the longer it simmers, I think the better it gets because the flavors and everything is just gonna marry and magical things is gonna happen. Um, 
I grew up in, in you know, on the coast of Georgia where we ate rice with everything. <laughs> I'm not going to eat rice today, but trust me, there are times when I take my dumplings and put it over rice and eat cornbread. That's some serious stuff. <laughs> but that's the South. And that's what I love about it, that we enjoy this. And, and I think a lot of it comes from our heritage. Um, you know, our, 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 our Western, uh, Eastern African heritage, some of that, you know, rice and the you know, starches and all that stuff. So I enjoy bringing that to life. So, so Mama has done a phenomenal job of putting this together. And I got to get this bread out of here before I burn it. Um, Turn that skillet off. Catherine Ray said, what you making are, they call cornbread fritters. Cornbread fritters? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they call them. Sean, I like whole cake better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got that in the bowl. I'm going to put this in the uh, plate up some, Mom. Uh, so we're going to, this is the one that's been cooking earlier. Yeah, it looks good. It looks it? good, Mom? Mom said it looks good. <laughs> like she didn't cook it? Yeah. <laughs> it good. I'm fixing this like I'm fixing this for the whole family. Yeah. We're going to put a little garnish on it. A little parsley. And the other thing I, I'm going to do because, you know what? Because it's just what it is. <laughs> I'm going to put a little Louisiana hot sauce on there. And uh, from there. Thank you, Miss Barbara. We'll be posting the recipe soon. Let's see what this tastes like. Let's see if Mama knows what she's talking about. No, you already know. Yeah. <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> Mama, you oh. got it, girl. You still got it. Look at it. I said, you still got it. I am? You ain't lost your touch. Oh, <laughs> That's why I love my mama. <laughs> so mama's done the chicken and dumplings, and uh, we're going to put those back on there. I'll put those up for you. Lola. It has been simply great. And I'm going to get still a piece of this cornbread. <laughs> and I'm going to dip it in there. Mama, you know what they say now? They don't say, Lord have mercy. You know what they say? <laughs> Claude have mercy. <laughs> Claude have mercy. Yeah, I'm glad I, I have my mom. 83 years young. She's taught me so much. I love her to death. <laughs> <laughs> Cook with Kip and hang out with Mama Mary. You got to love that. Hey. There was some other stuff that I was going to cover this week, but I don't have time now because we got to go. But a change is going to come. Y'all have a good week. Tell them bye, Mom. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs>